Hey there, chat. How you doing? Welcome back to Bloons Tower Defense 6. My name is Ruin. I run the place. Did you miss me? I bet you missed me. Well, let me show you what we've got going on here. We've got a new set of stuff happening. Give me just a moment and I shall show you the next thing that we're going to be doing. So, here we have double HP Moabs. This is the set that we're going to be dealing with. Uh, we're going to be having all of our normal stuff like we did last time. Boy, we've been on a good winning streak lately. And by that, I mean we've had two episodes in a row where we've won something. One after three episodes of absolute embarrassment. Uh, so we've got uh, the same regular track as before. We've got all of our upgrades available to us. The only thing that is different is that the Moabs will come in with twice the HP they had before. And that's huge. That's absolutely huge. So, we're going to start out the way that we always have. We're going to plop this hero down first because we have that $200 boost. And we're going to use our free monkey because we can now use monkey knowledge again. And we're going to put him here because we can. And let's get it started. So... You ready for some more fun and terrible story time with cooking? Because I am having a terrible time cooking. So today I took a bunch of frozen vegetables that I had and I threw them in a crock pot and I like to take stuff yes. like that, put them in a crock pot for a while so they get nice and warm and mushy and stuff like that while I'm doing job number two. And when I'm finished with them, then I get up from my chair I go over to the crock pot, I grab what I have there, and I eat it. If I've got, uh, I can sometimes put in meat, potatoes, and carrots, and uh, I put in some beef broth and some salt and everything, and it's done, and it's wonderful. Uh, if it's just going to be potatoes and carrots, uh, then I will put in salt, and when it's done, I'll drain the water, and I can pour it in my bowl and add some butter, and it's fantastic, or I can add some sour cream, whatnot. When I do vegetables, I will do one of two things. I will either just put in beef broth and uh, and just kind of have like a, a beef vegetable kind of taste to it. It's pretty good. Or I will put in some soy sauce and I will have basically like very, very mushy stir fry, which is fine. It's not fantastic, but I was in a hurry. I got back from job number one and had about 15 minutes until job number two. So I took some frozen vegetables, slammed them down into the uh, crock pot, I grabbed uh, my thing of soy sauce, splash, 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 get that on there, you know, get, get my stuff changed out and everything, and I think for a moment, man, that soy sauce smells sharp, I'm not sure what's the deal with that, you know, it's, I, I don't know, I don't know why that is, but, you know, I grabbed my, the, you, you know, your brown soy sauce bottle, splash some stuff in there, added just enough water so it will uh, steam, and uh, said, all right, let's go to it, let's, let's, let's have this stuff here. I finished job number two, I look back and I go to grab the stuff and it's weird. It's just weird. And uh, I look at the bottle and I have not put in soy sauce. No, you know what I've done? I've poured in Worcestershire sauce and that made it interesting. So once again, we have just uh, had a lovely time with, with, with ruined cooking. And so, Let's get keep going here, and uh, that's just a fun little thing for today. And tomorrow I'll probably also do something ridiculous and stupid, and we'll tell you all about it. So, what have you guys been up to? Do you have any terrible dumb cooking stories? Do you burn your mouth on stupid things, or do you plan to cook something and make one little thing wrong, and then you just have a full crock pot of failure? <laughs> Are you in those positions where you make that full crock pot a failure and you just have to eat it? <laughs> Tell me all about your stuff. I'm excited to see it. All right, into the game. So with this stuff here, <laughs> I think we're going to assume with the Moab stuff going on, we're probably going to go want to go with the safe and steady route, which is going to be that we're going to want to monkey up with our druids. We'll go ahead and get into Thunder as quick as we can. We'll also take this guy and give him Enhanced Eyesight as quickly as we can. Come on, come on. Just because we don't want to forget that and later say, Oh, 
I, I meant to get that. We want to be in a position right now where we've already got the camouflage in case we forget to deal with it later. All right, let's keep going. We want to get the thunder and we're going to get the wind guy first. Uh, what's going to be vital in this case is actually generating enough money to make the, the, the $90,000 wind that pushes everything back because uh, we want to be able to take Moabs and push them back because I anticipate the biggest problem is going to be uh, keeping the Moabs around long enough to actually kill them. So that's what we're going to focus on and hopefully it's all going to work out wonderfully. All right, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm probably going to go ahead and bust out the monkey hut so that I can get the uh, cheaper finances going around here. Come on, come on. So that way all these upgrades will cost us less. Let's -a go. And we'll also, of course, get the jungle drums as quickly as possible as well. By the way, from what I mentioned a couple days ago, my, uh, <laughs> I mentioned, uh, hey, have you guys burned yourself or done anything stupid with your cooking recently? Uh, it, it, along that same vein, I have, uh, recovered a good bit from burning my tongue and having it swollen in my mouth so I couldn't talk straight and I, biting my tongue. So that's been pretty good. And, uh, having a lovely time. It's it's so funny when I tell you these dumb cooking stories that I have because not too long ago I had two jobs instead of three and now that I've just had job number three that has just made my cooking so terrible. You, it used to be what I used the time I used in job number three I uh, I used for cooking things that actually had value to them and now it just slams something down in that cooker and get to the next thing because. Uh, there's a, uh, do, doing the channel is actually really involved. Um, nothing is as good as I want it to be, which is frustrating. And uh, you have to do all the different things. Of course, you have to you have to record, you have to edit, you have to uh, make the thumbnails. Uh, in some cases, for some of the stuff that I'm doing, I have to make the video uh, because I'm working on uh, basically taking a slideshow and playing it super super fast. Uh, in OBS to uh, to to simulate the movement because I have a couple things that I'm going to be talking through. So I've got a couple things I'm going to be talking through. A couple uh, uh, some backgrounds for singing. Oh guys, I'm practicing poor discipline. I'm owing about five thousand times. You gotta stop me. You gotta you gotta come in here and correct me and bring down the the hammer of justice. Say hey, pull yourself together. So, I'm making videos for some of the music that I've been talking about. I told you a couple days ago that I'm recording a bunch of stuff. I am also making things for just some talkie times. I'm trying to make a channel intro. I'm working on it. And that channel intro will probably be the first thing that I actually release. Hmm. Oh haven't expanded this or added another hut which is why okay now we should be able to buy the optimist and we'll go ahead and jam him right up in here for right now there we go we're going to take the optimist down the money path as quickly as possible because that is the fastest way to increasing our funds right now. It's much faster than getting the Monkey Town, because the Monkey Town is still pretty expensive. Nice. Here we go. And also, the Acid Pool is going to be very effective along the way. What we really, really would like is if we can get him to lead into gold before we have a whole bunch of lead balloons, because lead into gold is a pretty good money value for lead balloons. Here we go. Nice. 
All right, buddy. Yeah, you you've got the top piece. Okay. I I probably should put a money uh alchemist way down here. I just wanted to keep him in range of the building for right now. But it does inhibit him from doing as good when it comes to turning things into gold. I think we'll make him go rubber into gold first as well, because that's another way of generating more income more quickly than getting $10,000 and opening the monkey account. Oh, curses. Good. All right, we're gonna hit right here. Now, in his case, since he's going down this lead route here, we don't need to worry about stronger acid. So we'll probably just get larger potions because his only purpose is to turn as much stuff into gold as possible. So we're doing faster throwing and larger potions acting in tandem. And he's going to target the strong because that means that he'll throw about halfway down the line instead of only the balloons at the very front. And that also means that he will target... Oh, 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 oh. Uh... Jet, we goofed. We goofed pretty badly. But we're in a better position now. That's gonna do really well. We have extra lives this time around, so we don't need to worry about that. Should have paid more attention a while ago, but it's gonna be okay. Now, what should we do with you? Let's go ahead and crossbow. That's also going to help us deal with more uh, in more of these incognito balloons as they come. And aside from that, we're not going to freak out about it. <laughs> okay, good. Here's the first Moab. And let's get a feel for how tough these rascals are. Okay, and once he pops, he's useless. Because these guys are more than capable of handling that part. Hmm, hmm, hmm. All right, let's just do double quick. And jungle drums. The next thing we'll get is we'll get this guy. Where should we put him? We'll put him... Ah, he can't grab both. My thoughts are, it would be good to make him do the money stuff as well. Mm-hmm, <laughs> but he's not going to reach. Both of these at the same time. The, the reason I want to do the money stuff is just because it's going to make it cheaper to buy the other tower upgrades here. But it's not that important. It's just a thousand or two bucks. So let's just get this in a good position here. Good enough. There. Okay. Good enough. Good enough. Uh, let's see. We'll go ahead and... Monkey business. Monkey commerce. And then we'll... 
radar scan. That'll make both of these deeper for their second set of rounds. Now we're just going to wait on this. Good. I'm waiting. Ah, and he does reach. I'm waiting. So all of these guys are involved except for this one, as far as the camo goes. There we go. I don't think there's many Moabs for a little bit. Oh, this is enough. That camo detection is going to do just fine because they're slowing down the balloons uh, because of the camo to kind of make it fair. Now we'll get longer lasting spikes right away. And as soon as we can, we're going to get Monkey City. There it is. That's giving us a much better range. That's going to give us another Acid Monkey. Way out here. With this new Acid Monkey way out here. We're going to also make him throw gold. And make him uh, able to help the other... With two of these guys throwing uh, spikes, they're able to help each other and make each other stronger. And so it's a pretty effective uh, combo. And he's going to rubber into gold as well. He's going to pop right around here, and once he does, he'll become useless. There it is. And now these guys should be pretty effectively able to handle the ceramics, and now this will be the only focus of all of them. They'll pop right around here again, and there he goes. Okay, so they are definitely... You can feel that they are stronger. It is, it is, it is palpable. But it does not make them un unstoppable. We're going to head down the path of the call to arms, and we'll also pop one over here that will have the ability to call to arms. But the main thing is we're now going to start populating this area with some of our tougher guys. Uh, this guy is going to go ahead and get these through the storm. That's going to make a big difference. Because now that we're sending balloons back, these guys can't see them. So they're just throwing out pools of acid that are going to be pretty effective later on. Ball of lightning is going to be great. We really want to get to this $100,000 upgrade right here. Good. Uh, the thing I'm most concerned about right now is going to be the DDTs, actually. Because uh, they are strong as all... They are strong. They are big, strong boys. Let's see. Let's do this. <laughs> we're going to increase our range and sharp shurikens and then we're going to go down the destroyer route down on the bottom here because everything we need to focus on now is killing moabs because that's going to get notably hard the nice thing about those guys not being able to see the camo is that they throw down a whole ton of uh, acid in preparation for these guys coming around because they aren't necessary to defeat those camos. There we go. Alright. Next, we're going to try and work on building a, a horde of those populist druids like we had in the chimps round. They are super effective. Got it. 
this one's going to be the one because he has going to have access to this tower. So this is going to be the one that's going to become our rage. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and place these as best we can. Okay, let's get... Good. And they are definitely handling pretty well. With those sticky bombs being so effective, it makes a huge difference again. Turning off four of these in the populist is also making a big difference towards their own effectiveness. And now we just need 50,000 to turn this guy into an avatar for Ath. Our next big challenge is right now. It's going to be this round 60 right here. We're going to go slow. All right, good. This ninja is throwing bombs real early and immediately putting new bombs on. I think we're going to be pretty effective on this. Okay. That was a very ex uh, a, a experimental run and a very successful one. Good. We still seem to have pretty good control over the horde as well. The sticky bombs are very, very effective, especially when they're still at a manageable number. Twelve thousand. I'm debating between whether or not we should. Uh, nice. I'm debating between whether or not we should just throw lightning on all these guys and make everybody reasonably good, or if I should try and just hold all the way out until we get Avatar of Wrath, and then I can put the small things on everyone else. The only other thing on my mind then would be putting this guy out to strip fortification because fortification is going to be a real bear to deal with at some point. Go. Nothing's really going to be over here for a little while. So let's get him ready. Bernie stuff is going to be really great. Uh, ooh, let's move him. We don't want you to blow up stuff before we want to be blown up. We want the money guys to turn those into money. There we go. Good. Good. All right. We need two more populous ruins, or, uh, uh, druids. Sorry. That just struck me really funny that I'm, that I'm making that kind of a goof up. Because having six populous druids means all of them are at level five. Because all of them can accept five populace. All right, and now this guy who's in range of the stuff is going to be the one who gets the avatar of wrath. We will go ahead and give him light while we're at it. Although I probably should have, I probably should have given him more thorns because that would be really effective with his avatar of wrath state. But he's already got it. And nobody else has the same power up that he does. Mm -hmm. All right. We will go ahead and thorn swarm these. And we will. Yes. Lightning a couple of them. All right. Just an absolute horde of thorns. All right. The next thing 
that we should do, because we're still in a pretty good position as far as all the different timing and everything goes, is we'll go ahead and make another chemist, and he's going to put the stuff on to really wreck Moabs, because the focus has got to be Moabs. It's got to stay Moabs. We can't get silly and careless. Good. I feel like we're in a pretty safe position to sit around doing nothing for a while. 32,000, we don't need it yet. Good. Oh, he also needs to target the strong. And what upgrade should I give him? Uh, we should give him acid pools, actually, because uh, if he throws out acid pools, a line of zeppelins can go through it and they'll all get acid. There it is. Alright, now, just convincing myself to wait. Convincing me to wait until I got the money. I make well it's actually not even tea to be honest what I do is I make myself uh I make myself just some blazing hot water and I put some lemon in it and I put some honey in it because it's delicious it's also good for you honey is a pretty effective sweetener that's not uh super awful like the straight sugar But honey is not great for everything. There's lots of stuff that is just better with sugar. Because sugar is a more... I guess you could say, like, pure flavor. Where it's just sweet. And honey has a very particular flavor that you know that's honey. <laughs> Still in a pretty good position. Not fretful enough yet that I feel like, Oh man, we gotta start throwing money away. And put off the avatar for a little while longer. I really feel like we've taken care to be in a good spot. Sweet. August. He's growing well. Oh, all these guys are able to reach each other. Fascinating. Oh, well, I'll take it. August. Good. We're almost there, chat. So, do any of you guys play... Well, I would assume you guys play this, but... How many of you guys play this? What are some interesting strategies that you have? I know I have terrible strategies, and I also said that I don't look up strategies because I want to do it myself. But, I am interested to know how you guys do it. And I will absolutely take strategies from chat because... You know, you guys aren't random internet site 4678252. You guys are chat, and that's pretty cool. So I take it from you guys, because you guys are fam. Ooh. That line of ceramics is always a, a, a little bit of a pit in your stomach when it comes that first time. And you're just like, oh, are we going to make it? And then you do, and you're like, perfect. You know something, chat? I don't think we're actually going to have enough money to get the Avatar of Wrath in time. I suspect that we will not. Oh, uh, we might. I didn't realize how long this one was. Okay, we've got it. We should be good for the Zed now. Okay, let's reset this target. Put it way over here. And see what we can make. And what we'll do is we'll slow this down and we'll keep setting the target on where he is. <laughs> there it is. And it's over. All right. Chat, we had ourselves a flawless victory. That's a pretty cool, uh, 
that's a pretty cool cannon. I haven't actually ever activated that one before. I'm interested to see it. Anywho. Oh, man, we are right at 30 minutes, too. Well, thank you. Thank you all for coming. I hope you all had a lovely time. Uh, I am interested to hear your strategies. Uh, I talked before about telling me what kind of games you wanted to play, uh, wanted to see me play, what kind of stuff we wanted to do together. Did you want to do drawing stuff? Did you want to do covers? Uh, I will probably have both of those recorded before this episode makes it out. So, uh, so you'll get a chance to sample them at least once, definitely. And uh, tell me about your life. Tell me what's going on. Tell me things that are interesting that happens to you. Do you have dumb cooking stories? Do you have just dumb anything stories? Boy, if you would just want dumb anything stories, I've got stories for you. Let me know what you think. Anywho, I shall talk to you all later. You have a good time. Try not to miss me too much. Bye.